There are multiple ways to receive and enter a loan. Our first example will be a predetermined loan with a beginning balance. To enter a loan from a bank, we'll start at the financial menu. Under the financial menu, select Add Accounts. The account can be named anything you want, but make sure the account type is set to Credit. You'll have the option to enter the last four digits of the account, then enter the beginning balance for this new loan account. When you save the account, you'll get a prompt asking how much of the beginning balance is from the loan and how much was from purchased items. Once the account's been saved, you can just close this window and then we'll go back to the financial menu. This time select modify accounts. You'll see here we now have our new loan account with the total of the loan amount. If you find you need to make an update or change the beginning balance, you can just double click on it. If your loan was received as a check or a balance transfer, we want to create an account with a zero beginning balance. As always, when creating a loan account, make sure the type is set to credit. And again, this time the beginning balance is left at zero. Once you save the account, go to the Modify Account window. If your loan was received as a transfer, we will click on the New button at the top and select Loan. Confirm the date at the top. If you received the loan in the past, make sure you backdate. Leave the amount field at the top empty and below select the account that will be receiving the funds. Enter the loan amount and then we'll click add this loan. Our last example is a loan received as a check. In the same loan window enter the check number then enter the amount at the top. At the bottom, click Add This Loan, and now you'll see our new loan amount. Since this was a check, we now need to deposit the check into whichever account will receive the funds. Click New, then Deposit, and here you'll see your new loan check ready for deposit. Now that the loan is entered, you can start tracking any interest as well as payments towards the loan. When it's time to make a payment on the loan, we will do this from this Modify Account window. When you select New Payment, make sure the Account drop-down menu is set to the proper account. Enter the date you've made the payment and your amount. Any interest that you're charged on this account will be handled under the Add Expense window. Make sure the account drop-down menu is set to your loan account. As always, enter the appropriate date. And then the payee will be the name of your bank. The expense category will be set to Interest. And then your item, for the item, you can select line of credit interest. Last, enter the amount you're charged, then click Save. If we go back to the Modify Account window, you'll see we have a line item for the payment and a separate line item for the additional interest. 